Hello and welcome everybody to the first edition of Awaken the Chaos Class Regional Class Phase 1. I am your commentator for today, Mr. Alon Lilly. Now, if I sound a little bit American, it's, that's because I am, because this is a wonderful opportunity for some European and North American players to really duke it out, and I will be representing America on the commentary side of things. But, of course, uh, we will be having a very familiar voice for you, all you European folks. I would like to introduce my fellow commentator, Mr. Ukusen. How are you doing, Mr. Uko? <laughs> Indeed, my name is Mr. Uko, Uko Sanhamala. Yes, and I'll be representing the EU side of things. Although, I haven't done this uh, commentary in a couple of months, so <laughs> we'll see how, how it will go. But, uh, yeah, let's see how it will go. It, I think it will be interesting how the matches will go. We got uh, some EU folk, a NA folk this time around, and yeah, we'll see how the players will do. I think we are going to have some good BB tag matches today, if I had to say so myself. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Definitely looking forward to see some, you know, kind of unfamiliar faces, I'll be honest. Like, I'm not, like, too, too huge on, like, the European BB tag scene. Of course, I know, like, a couple of the more popular mm. names, but I'm always excited to be able to see some uh, interesting and cool BB tag gameplay, no matter for where they are. But, like, yeah, as you said, we can only have uh, one North American folk against the uh, currently eight registered European people bracket. But, uh, but I believe in my fellow countrymen. But uh, we'll have to see how this entire tournament plays out. I'm sure it'll be great. Indeed. And speaking of the players we have here, uh, today we are going to have, as you said, eight players, one American, uh, seven European players. First, we're going to have uh, Mr. Zach C CC, our resident user Hawkman player, uh, who is uh, known uh, to most people here, if I had to guess. Uh, next up, we are going to have Mr. Floyd Kendricks, bit of a Unknown player to me. Uh, I haven't seen his face before, if I had to say. Uh, but we'll see how he'll do. Uh, high hopes. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna also have Mr. Arma, Mr. Arma Sweep, uh, with his uh, Susano and Akiko. A strong opponent, to be sure. Facing, to be facing anyone. And next, we're gonna have me. Uh, I'm gonna suck ass, but. <laughs> it's gonna be what it is, and I'm gonna be playing again on that Sonon Hawkman again. And next up, we're gonna have Kando, our one and only NA player here today, who is most likely gonna be playing some sort of Ashreal themed team, if I had to guess from what I've seen. Uh, also, Cinnamon Spice, a face we have all also seen in the EU, EU side of things, uh, in intermediates and in the normal tournaments, uh, rocking that. If I had, if I remember, uh, that GA Dachi, if I'm not mistaken, I'm sorry if I'm. And we're gonna have Mr. One-Up uh, with that Naruto and Josuke. Yeah, Josuke is a pain, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we're gonna have that Yosuke air stalling action today and some crazy plays from Mr. I, I one up, I'm sure. And lastly, Mr. Shia Oshikai, who's gonna be playing that. But this is the Ruby if I had to be guessing here. But yeah, those are our eight players here today. And yeah, I think the room is up. So. Yeah, we'll waste no time for that. And on the first round, we're going to have Arma versus uh, me. And right after, we're going to have Shyoshi Guy versus Mr. Islap. And rest of the round ones are off stream. So, uh, without further ado, I think we should start gaming for yes. the BB Tags. You shall be uh, gaming indeed. Uh, Arma, uh, like, I, like I said earlier, not super duper familiar with the European BB tag scene. 
Uh, so I've never really seen Arma play, uh, but they do have locked in quite a terrifying team with that Susuno Akihiko. Um, not really a team I've actually ever seen played, surprisingly enough, because I feel like Susano is generally a good partner for a lot of characters. I guess, like, just a lot of Akihiko players not really interested in playing this on the NIA side of things. But sure, it's got a lot of neat tricks up its sleeve. I, I've definitely seen the power of Aki and Susano, but, like, yeah, Uko... Looks like you are uh, sticking sticking with the Susano Hakuman. <laughs> indeed, indeed, I am. And for my rounds, I'm trying to concentrate a bit, so I'm gonna be um, off the ball voice chat here. So one will be doing his best with the commentary on his loans now, unfortunately. Yeah, Although yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> All right. It's fine. Go play your match. I wish you good luck. But yeah, Susano mirrors for the uh, start of it. And yeah, these are, uh, needless to say, like these matches are going to be <laughs> incredibly explosive with the, just the characters that we have on deck, just all having like such insanely high damage output. Um, but we shall see how this one plays out. Um, I don't know what the round start mentality is going to be, but both of them deciding to put their non susano characters in the front. Definitely respectable. De I de definitely believe like Susano has some really great assists if you really want to abuse. And yeah, Arma going straight in with the Akihiko pressure. Yeah, just trying to lock down this Hawkman and get something happen, get those sway pressures happen. Ooh, probably gonna be trying to beat the throw there, but just got thrown of his own. Uko starting the pressure, but Arma finding a great place to push block out of the situation and get this Corpse through plus assist punish, but drops the combo. Once again, just trying to keep up the aggression. Uko's Hakuman not looking too hot. Yeah, nice block on the Zontatsu. Tried to contest afterwards, but got hit. Oh, yeah, that was a 5A. Could have led to disaster, but it was just a reset into that JB. Nice push block out of the situation to beat that Sand Kick. Yeah, once again, just a really abusing, like, just a lot of pressure gaps to like push block plus assist and it's very strong both characters on uh, Arma's side like their their thrust moves tend to be very good but yeah oh unfortunate trade there both of them matching afterwards with the god of destruction winning okay uh, not gonna keep it all burst safe in fact also gonna be popping the burst after getting their burst baited but unfortunately runs straight into the Akihiko and just gets hit with a 4a here yeah the stabilization into this combo is gonna lead Arma to take game one And, uh, you know, so surprisingly enough, not, like, as explosive as I thought it would be initially. Of course, it's only the first game of the, of the set. But, like, nonetheless, we saw a lot of aggressive play there, from Mo, which is definitely something that, like, Akihiko especially excels at. I mean, you, in general, you don't want the man in your face. If you, if you hit, if you get hit by, like, 90% of his moves, you're dead. And, like, really just trying to, like, constantly place that threat in front of Uko's face. And, yeah, couldn't really deal with it properly. It was kind of put on the back end there. Uh, surprisingly enough, the thing I didn't notice from Uko doing is, like, a surprising lack of Hakuman DP. Like, uh, I was expecting him to throw it out a bit more. There was a couple opportunities I think that could have got him off him, but still, it is a risk nonetheless, especially against Aki. Oh, yeah, speaking of which... <laughs> yeah, just gonna be hopping straight in. Yeah, bait. No, or not baiting your grab there, just getting in a grab. Ooh, unfortunately, Uko believing too hard in the mash after the burst, but Susano coming straight in. Yeah, gonna be getting a safe burst on that 2C. Usually a pretty good point, too. Both rooms are uh, feeling each other out. Oh my god, that is a very huge DP punish. I'm not 100% sure about like the damage I put to the team, but I, I would genuinely believe that could have just been dead with the meter on deck. Ooh, once again, throwing it out there and getting their burst baited too against Akihiko. This is definitely going to hurt. This is probably going to be a kill here with a cross combo. Maybe not even with a cross combo because Akihiko damage kind of kind of schnasty. Yeah, 12k. <laughs> Uko Susano not looking so hot, but did bait out the 5B there. Ooh, not the place to burst out either, but only actually going for the 4A punish, so this is not nearly as much damage as it could be. 
Oh, but tried to like frame trap after the sand kick was successful, but didn't quite believe in it. Uko, I think, paying here for the mistake. This should be a kill if he commits the crossbait, I think. No, I think the combo's killing too much. It's gonna go into a cross combo to seal it out safely. And yeah, Arma taking the second game. Definitely a uh, very much a slower game compared to what I'm used to, but nonetheless, like definitely noticing like a lot of uh, Russ plus assist setups. Like I think from both sides, like both of them really trying to use it for neutral and really just um, using it like push block, using it with push blocks in order to like really snipe out gaps and pressure and really punish super like unsafe on whiff moves like like susano like shoulder uh, shoulder hits are very they're very scary but like they are pretty decent push block points that i'm definitely noticing especially on arma's side that he's really abusing the fact that uko is kind of committing a lot to those moves so gotta be definitely very careful of that but like yeah, arma is definitely in game three Okay, I believe in 2A. Try to convert with the assist, but unfortunately was unsuccessful there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be baiting out the burst once again. Drop in the combo! Uh, yeah, activate the cross combo and land straight into the Susano there. Yeah, Uku gonna be getting a very basic combo. Oh yeah, the Super Snow jumping in the JBA, just able to connect on this Hakuman. Uh, probably gonna be getting the standard Ender. Ooh, goes in for the Yuki Kaze, but does know the counterplay to it, just jumping after it. Oh my god, almost a terrible happy birthday. But fortunately, Uko coming out of it alive. Ooh, yeah, just did the raw 236B uh, in neutral. This is not punished though. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to punish that. I'm assuming was expecting the DHT there, but no biting. Oh, yeah. Both characters looking kind of low here. Imagine Arma really wants to get out this Susano as soon as possible. I mean, just going for the basic Ender and text straight into the sandwich. Uko not blocking afterwards too, and this is looking like a dead Susano as well. Arma playing very. Patiently and very boldly there with the Susano, but it definitely paid off. Ooh, almost got that counter hit confirmed, but a nice thrust in. This is going to be a nice chunk of damage here. Doesn't have enough meter to cash out into the super, but nonetheless, still a 10k. Goes straight in with the JA2, and that's a dead Akihiko. It's just freaking Hakuman and Susano, a good old classic fight here. Probably going to be a one-touch situation on both sides. Definitely surprised that Arma isn't popping the resonance, but it doesn't look like they need it here, as the JB will be cracking the dome of Uko, and he'll be taking the set 3-0. Uh, yep. Definitely Uko, I think, making some good adaptations there in the third game. It was a lot closer to taking at least one W, but just couldn't quite seal out the deal in time. Man, Arma Sweep hitting, hitting hard yet again this week. <laughs> Arma Sweep, man. It, it, it do be hitting hard, although, although I was a bit more happy with the third match, though. It went a bit more well, although in the end, and I got like bit more scared i think yeah definitely but i don't, I don't have the that. best track record with armor to be fair coping <laughs> it, it, it'd be a bit bad oh man it is what it is though uh uh uh, uh. uh let's see the brackets here so next up uh as we said before it's gonna be shayosh guy this is one up but with the others, let's see here. So Zach went uh, 3 0 versus Mr. Floyd. So he'll be joining me in the losers. And with Wakando Cinnamon Spice, Wakando took that 3 1. 
So Cinnamon will also be joining in that uh, Losers Round 1 games. So in the Round 2, we're going to have Zack versus Arm here. And Vacando versus Mr. One-Up or Shayoshi guy here. We we'll, shall see which one it is here. Looks like it'll be Shai. Sayoshi guy versus Isib coming up next. Uh, Isib is one of the few players that I've actually not only gotten to watch play, but I've actually gotten to play against at least a little bit. Because, you know, thanks thanks to Rollback allowing for, like, EU and A connections, it's like, yeah, I've gotten to play with them. Definitely a very, like, you know, solid Yosuke Kurogane player. A uh, team played uh, kind of like as a sub-team by one of our NA players known as Faded the Dragon. So I've definitely seen the... Um, the power of the team from them as well as Isub. So definitely a good team to going out, but like I can also say the same thing about Sayoshi's team, which is the part I know Akatsuki. Uh, another team played on another NA player by the name of Duck Gator, and like it's definitely a very impressive heart team, can really lock you down super well. And you know, just heart shenanigans like really hard to deal with for like mm -hmm. any character. But I mean Yosuke the Yo is Yosuke is just its <laughs> own like <laughs> Eldritch horror being. Yeah. <laughs> is, this matchup is. is <laughs> this matchup is so cursed. Yeah, I hate is. playing. I I hate playing this matchup whenever I play Heart. It's just like no one can hit each other. Yeah. Finally, Lon is getting to the mix of getting to the cur cursed things and hating the teams which are playing. Finally, we're getting that to that stage already in the second game. <laughs> of the the one up sniffer like that uh, okay the room disbanded nice uh i'm s well i Are am still in? in the room <laughs> okay guess i'm just dead then okay uh uh, uh i guess i'll be sitting this out one out <laughs> Okay. Thanks, PC Tag. Thanks, PC Tag, okay. Oh, always such a consistently inconsistent point, but yeah. Uh, Isab definitely, you know, looking kind of rough there at the start there. Got hit by the heart, but now suddenly is like, definitely, like, in a very distinct advantage here. And we'll be mixing up the Akatsuki here. But yeah, Shayoshi guy just gonna be waking up with the super. Gonna be... Actually, cash it out on both super. Really just wants to put Yosuke in the one-touch situation, and the one-touch is going to be the grab here. Suddenly, Isab looking a lot worse as the solo curve got it left, but both of Shayoshi's characters definitely, like, in the old, kind of, like, one-touch range. Yo, we're here back from the lands of the Twitch chat. Oh my god, it's the over! Yosuke died! Let's go! <laughs> Oh my god. You freaking just wake oh, up Divine Masher. <laughs> okay, now I saw it. Okay. <laughs> Man, I just went up and like, smashed that screen. Okay. 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 Yeah, that was, uh, that no was a sudden way. I <laughs> Honestly, I thought... I I knew some one character was going to die. I wasn't expecting both characters to die, honestly. <laughs> Actually, no fear from one of just going for them. You go. You have to auto pass. <laughs> Am I not on auto pass? I believe I. No, uh, you know, you're definitely on auto pass. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I joined the room again. Yeah, that's that's because. Yeah. yeah. Right. We are now on auto pass. Indeed. The boys can now game. Without no me more. reading you up like a stupid Phoenix person. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, Shy yeah. is gonna stay with the um, hard Akatsuki. That's like. The fact he's playing this team is kind of like. new to me. I don't know if he played it like a couple of weeks. Because I haven't been uh, in touch with the attack for a while. So I guess this is his, like, new team. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, it's a very strong team, for sure. It is a, a very damage-heavy team. That's for yeah. sure. Alright, yeah, this, see, see, this is why the matchup is cursed! No one can hit each other! But the Kuragane 4P definitely gonna be, like, a huge asset here for E7 in, in this matchup, because it's just gonna be able to snipe hard out from the skies. 
Yeah, 4P is just... Yeah, it's just 4P. And Yosuke is just Yosuke on top of that. Okay, Shai is going not looking good here. That Akatsuki is going pretty low. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, that's that's a lot of damage. And that's Akatsuki down. Okay. Returning the super only on Yasuke. Getting that revenge. revenge. Also, for short times for now, he's again getting Yosuke. <laughs> okay. I mean, this heart has taken so much damage here. Didn't really get to do anything with that resonance, so it's just really low heart and a dream in the Phantom Pain. Going to be able to seal off the deal here for Isab. Isab taking the second game once again very dominantly. Man. 4P, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, the, 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 what, what more can you say about Kurgani 4P? It hits the heavens. It's 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 it like literally just taps God on his toes. Like, come on, man! It's so it's such a stupid assist. <laughs> it, is, it is actually so stupid. Like, <laughs> the one one time like four P is okay. Was when it was like it was like I believe it was like Soul versus One Up. And he was both were getting the 4P treatment, so they both got a taste of their own medicine. That was the only time it was okay. When the both side has had 4P with them. But come on. Man just hitting the heavens with that thing. While Yosuke is up in the heavens trying to air stall. And oh, I'm just gonna now combo from this. <laughs> Just because I can. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can mauled about the Kuragone 4P all we want, but still. Nonetheless, Iseb is definitely going to be abusing it. But round start TK Moonsault, huh? <laughs> okay. I respect it. A bold option here, but the 4P just like yeah, putting a complete stop sign here for heart. Ooh, yeah, tried to DP out of that JC, but it just was a little bit misspaced. Okay, Yosuke's good stuff. Okay, we're gonna go in and oh, okay, some shenanigans yet again. The slash into okay, he somehow comboed up that. Okay. Just, I mean, Iseb has been relatively good control here in this matchup, but just got hit by the Awake Up 4A. I'm gonna be in with Akasuki in the corner, but surprisingly not going for any unblockable shenanigans there. Just gonna be getting push blocked out and getting frame trapped there by the 5B. And once again, Iseb hitting that reset. Baits the burst as well. Yeah, he has just been on fire here. Shy Guy Yoshi got his one opportunity to get something going, but it's going to be yeah. all taken away that, from him. That, that, that heart is dead, man. That heart, heart. Oh, no? We I'm dropped these? First. <laughs> we, we dropped these? <laughs> okay, is it it? No? Okay, okay the heart, heart is dead. Okay, finally. Okay. Now it's the Lonesome Akatsuki. We got those DPs, okay. Parry's DP hitting. But we got no mix. Yeah, that was a very bold super. Could have maybe punished Ooh. it there. Oh my god, yeah, gonna be hitting the frame first. That is a bunch okay. of pieces of butter. Full damage, <laughs> full damage, full damage. Okay. Oh, we missed the super, I think. Oh, okay, we got those grabs. Man, but man, there's like uh. a couple opportunities for Shayoshi Shai to kill there. Oh. We're not working out. Oh, 5C. 5C. Enough said. 5C. 5C, <laughs> baby. Uh, oh. Offensive hate hitting. Uh, shenanigans, oh. okay. Okay. And uh, Nata is gonna close out the game there. Yep. Close to third match, though. Real close. Like, mm. the commentator's curse with the dropping of the combo, but then. Somehow, like some way, 
uh, Yosuke exists and <laughs> kills that heart somehow. But yeah. Definitely, Man. like, going into that matchup, I felt like, even though the, the heart versus Yosuke matchup is incredibly cursed, uh, just having access to that Kurugane 4B just does wonders for fighting heart, and especially with how like, you know, Yosuke wants to play. Like, of course, the most obvious way it's helping in the matchup is just like, heart's super airborne and Kurugane 4B, you know? It's a pretty good anti-air. Uh, but, like, just... Also, how it complements just also Yosuke's airborne play style, too. It's just like, not only do you have the air control such so locked down on deck, it kind of like allows Yosuke to freely maneuver around that space and really like mix you up and create a lot of like setups. We, we kind of saw there that Shayoshi guy was just like kind of really struggling to uh, make any leverage against the Yosuke while Kuragane was like in the back. Uh, not even, not even, it was just hard just with like both characters. And we're seeing, he said, kind of like use it for mix, like throwing some mood salt here, here for some like left, right stuff. Uh, it was definitely very good play, he said, but like good stuff to Shia Yoshi almost was able to turn around that third game, but like will be moving down to the loser side of the bracket here. Yeah, but we'll be seeing more of him. I, I hope so, at least. But for now, the things are as stands. Uh, round two, uh, Zack Arma with uh, the Kondo one up. And then in the losers, Floyd versus me and Simon Spice versus Shayoji guy. We'll see how these things will go. But for now, next we are gonna have Zack versus Arma. So we're gonna have uh, Mix versus Big Akihiko damage here. Zach, a CC, also a European player that I have uh, gotten to see, gotten to uh, play against to the legendary DP man himself. Um, <laughs> is he going to DP? That is, no, we, we'll see. I think we're gonna see some maxed out uh, Shippus at least. With yeah. users, with some user mix in. <laughs> Addition to that. Okay. Yep. yep. Ooh, nice block on the overhead, but wasn't it like uh, expecting a low there? Fourth Ooh. block out of the situation. Actually, was able to hit the 5A, but we didn't quite believing in it. Zach going in with the active swap grab in order to continue the pressure against Arma. Okay, we got some Hasuman com <laughs> Hakuman com Hasuman, indeed. <laughs> Yeah, good old Hazuman. Hazuman, indeed. Okay, here we got it. Fully charged Shippu, as expected. Yet again, are we gonna cash out? No. Ah, uh, that's Ooh. dead, Susan. Should be, at least. Yeah, I don't need to spend the cash there, but like, it's still fine. Killing off the character. Always wanted to make sure that if you can make a 2v1 happen, it's in your favor. Oh, that should be a sandwich setup, yeah. Gonna be activating the okay. cross combo to really extend the pressure here, but a good push block into DP out. And actually got counter hit here by the Aki Eco. That's huge for Arma. This should be a kill. We shall see here. It's gonna be close. Magic Pixel? No. Uh, no Magic Pixel. Aki Hiko. <laughs> it's Aki Hiko. No Magic Pixels here. Now it's gonna be Hakuman with the. Okay. Close. Hitting. And 5C. I respect it. Yes, where you're not watching your dome there. Oh, Ooh, is... Okay, we're counter hitting, we're trading. Is this what is this what we call neutral? What is that? Oh, what the hell is okay. it? Okay. <laughs> That's Zandets is gonna seal the game for Mr. Zax there. Quick yeah. high low to end the game. The first game of the possibly five games. Not you never expect it. Cracker. It is basically unblockable. Yeah, it's about as fast as Gauntlet Hades, and that move is unblockable. <laughs> yeah, I, I, lo I love the Tantetsu mix. It's beautiful. 
it's not as beautiful as it. 5C, <laughs> but it's, it's it's up there. Uh, you can hit you can hit people with all like the instant overheads you want, but if you hit someone with the 5C, you made a statement there. <laughs> It's it's it, it it is very funny, especially offline. When people get hit by five C offline, mm, that's mm. the real stuff right there. It is the real stuff, and the messages afterwards. Hmm, that is the spice I need. My d mm. daily dose of five C spice. Okay. Ooh, so, okay, yeah. 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 Grab Drop the combo. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Okay, he got damage coming in. How much we are gonna get? No super to end it though. Yeah, good thing for Zach there because I was easily gonna add uh, like okay. an additional like okay. 4k. So sorry. Didn't get <laughs> no happy birthdays here. And this is on is gonna save the. Okay, that is dead user. From a dead armor team to a dead user, I guess. Oh, we're oh. gonna grab that. Oh my god, oh, yeah, we're gonna happy get that. Too. Okay, oh, did he quite kill him? Oh, okay, we got it. We don't hold back here with the Akihiko gang. We only go forward. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, just stun block. Oh, imagine being two okay. plus for your counter not the trigger. <laughs> okay, we're... Are we panicking with the Hakuman here? No, we're gonna Akita stall. No, we're not. We're... We're up backing. <laughs> okay, Akita is coming through. We got that. Amazing Hakuma damage with no Ooh. meter, uh, but it, that's not gonna save us from the um, 2A. That's a dead Hakuma. We're gonna stand under your head. Sure Amazing. Game for Arma there. Definitely once again looking quite close. Up to the mm -hmm. Susano and Hakuman once more, but like, yeah, the. I I do feel like the damage output from Arma's team is kind of like somewhat not being respected here. I think for Zach, Zach's kind of like, you know, maybe not respecting a lot of Oki setups and just trying to like get their own thing going. But like the thing is, I noticed they got mediated by some pretty pretty beefy Susano moves there. So gotta gotta be careful about that. Yeah, but both teams got those happy birthdays, since although. We didn't get those supers in the end, so they weren't like as effective as they should be. But still, like if Akinko gets that happy birthday with or without that super in the end, as we could see, like it's still gonna do a ton of damage with uh, the fifth cyclone. Okay, we're gonna get some DP shooting again. Yep, some good blocks so far, and once again, not respecting the meaty 5A. This should be a decent amount of damage, unless he drops the combo. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, Ooh. try to create the sandwich. Okay, we're gonna DP to stop that thing right in its tracks. And we're gonna get that hockey out today now. No continuation. Okay, there was an attempt. Okay, the Hakuman is... Is the grab coming? Yeah, it was coming. Ooh, okay, this is gonna hurt here. We got yeah. full assist meter. Although we don't got that. Oh, or do we have that? Yeah, I don't think it was probably worth trying to spend cash out the meter there, especially after just getting. Oh this no, this is not oh, a hit. Oh no. We are, we are that user took that Susano to Moon and back and somehow. <laughs> came to behind the argument, but okay, now we got the Tsuna somehow still. And now it's. Oh. Teleport with Yuzu. Left, right, right, left, and with a quick slash, we're gonna end that game in a 2 1 situation for Mrs. Zach CC here. Yes. yes. Definitely. Gotta meet and that was. Yeah, sorry, go on. These are... These are quite something. I, I feel like these games are like... They they go like... 100% in one direction and then 100% in the other direction, just... Like, the other one is like, absolutely going bonkers, or the other one is absolutely going bonkers here. Like, there is no in-between here. 
That's that's just how BB Tag is played sometimes. It's just a very uh, momentum hairy, very like uh, like one player dominates like type of game. But like, I mean, like nonetheless, I think the games have been pretty close. There have been a lot of happy birthdays, though. <laughs> yeah, at least like in this matchup here. Okay, we jump over that six P, and now we're gonna get some Susano damage. This is you know, one of the characters who can easily get solo 10k, but not here. We're only gonna satisfied with that 7k here. But now Akihiko is gonna come through, and he is gonna do his attempt at a most likely easy 10k, going even further beyond. I I think that's almost like 14. That's like on level five resonance combo. Yeah, yep. that's 4.3. Yep. You made one mistake and your character's almost dead. Aki goes <laughs> out for you, everybody. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, okay, we got the Sun Ten too. Unblockable worlds, four days. Zachary, unfortunately, dropping the combo there. Yeah, they're gonna be spending a lot of push blocks out. Zach definitely gotta be super careful about that how they call their assist because like one bad call can smell Ooh. doom and try to go up for the ballsy call out super, okay. but it not quite working out here. Where hello, we're gonna drop that. But okay, is it gonna be no Oh We somehow missed those. I don't know how, but okay, how come and DP? Amazing as ever. Ooh. Love yeah, it was it. Akihiko was just directly behind the Hawkman there. Zach not ready for that cross combo mix there. Ooh, yeah, got the JCA or the JA hit, but not ready to quite convert off it. Not quite going to okay. be a kill off those slashes, but it'll be very close here. Grab coming. Is it coming? Is it coming? He's coming. Oh no, the DP from Zach's side is coming, and now we're gonna get some full screen slashes here. We're gonna try and open up that season now here. But are we gonna see Astral? That would be the real nice here. It is oh. a possibility here, but no. yeah. No, nope. Su Suzano, definitely not a character that really likes to fight zoners, and Yuzu definitely just zoning him out for full speed. They're not all real good opportunities to get in and threaten that Astral here. Zachary playing from the full screen, playing it right, I think, and taking the fourth game and taking the set 3-1. Yeah, good showing from both players here. Doing real well. Lots of happy birthdays, lots of back and forth gaming, lots of mix, lots of shenanigans, lots of everything here. Yep, yep. Uh, unfortunate couple drops there for the full charge Shimpu set up on Zachary's side, but nonetheless was still able to pick up the pieces afterwards. And yeah going to be allowing Zachary to actually move on into winner's finals in order to fight the winner between B Kondo 13 and B Seb. We shall see how that'll go. Yep. yep. The, uh, <laughs> the hopes and dreams of the American BB tag scene, at least in terms of this tournament, all lie upon one We Kondo 13. Um, definitely know that they're at the very least an Azreal player, um, believe Heart Azreal yeah. as like the primary team, uh, never actually gotten to see them play, but I do see them around the BB Tag main court a lot, so it's great to finally actually see their gameplay here, but going against the Iseb who took a, quite a dominant victory against Sayoshi guy and, uh, was definitely moving and grooving with that, um, Yoshi, with that Yoshi Kuragane and like a lot of the same things that uh, we saw in that matchup are probably going to be applying to this matchup if not maybe a bit more polarizing there for uh, Wikondo assuming that he does go stick with the Azreal heart um, definitely going to need to navigate around it very well but we will have to see how that one plays out they, they need to get into the room first <laughs> yeah it's going to be if I had to guess here it's going to be Azreal heart or Azreal Akatsuki, uh, that's like one of, there's like three like Azrael team, teams he played. It's the hard one, the Akatsuki one, and then there is like one more, I believe, at least what I've played against him. Uh, 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 but I guess we're gonna see that hard here for now. 
gonna yeah. shelve that Akatsuki and the unknown one. And we're just gonna trust the heart to do some flying and abusing that JP. Because that thing has a hitbox of its own, just like 4P. It's a uh, yeah. heart, heart JP, you know, maybe not the biggest button. It's, just, it's pretty dumb. <laughs> it is quite dumb. For some reason, it hits behind. Uh, I found that the hard, hard way in one match against him. It was very infuriating, to say the least. <laughs> Understandable. This character definitely built differently. I have no idea what's going on. I will not. Like, I will not cap. <laughs> uh, we got two characters flying, and we got we slashes four P's, and Azrael is trying to come and growl at the enemy. But now we're gonna have some counter combos with the heart grabs, but we take those. Now the Josh guy is gonna get some punish points for a small while, and uh, now Yosuke is gonna get not Yosuke Nada is gonna get something in return. Smash it into P, respectful. Yeah, I mean the classic there. Unfortunately, couldn't quite punish it despite dodging it with the backcombing. But now Wikano, really surprised they're keeping in the heart for this long. Like this, definitely one touch for them. And considering like the, a lot of the unburstable damage Kuragane can get. It's going to be a little bit risky here. That's a death. Yeah, Good that death. should be dead. Oh, actually, Ooh, was able to burst out in time. I'm really surprised about the decision not to just go into the Divine Smasher there, to be honest. But, like, it worked out there. It was a very hard call out and getting a lot of damage here on the Azrael. Okay, oh, goodbye. That's goodbye, Natsu. Yeah, yep. Nope. Nope. You're dead. No coming back from that. Now it's going to be. The Yosuke here, and he's gonna try. Oh, we shall he didn't have see. enough meter. <laughs> we are gonna airstall and jump around for forever, and we're somehow gonna beat that Asriel to pop. And we're gonna see if he can do the same for Heart. And yep, bad. Right, left, right, left. Better hold <laughs> up, <laughs> up back correctly, my guy. Yep, yep, and unfortunately for we Kano actually had the opportunity to seal it out with the actual but he said dropping the combo, giving we Kondo another chance, but not going to be using it here. Just gonna be getting hit by the Yosuke 5A and man, that this you know, despite how kind of the life totals look, that was like very close. <laughs> yeah. No idea what happened in the beginning. There was uh, it was like question mark beginning, uh neutral in the middle and just overall death in the <laughs> third, third part. Just characters dying for some reason. <laughs> and then just in the end one of taking the round. One oh for now. We shall see how the second round goes there. Yep yep. And should we be starting off with the Azrael this time? I think like Azrael is his more like comfortable big pick, if I had to like guess. Because that's like where what's his most teams are based around. Okay, grabs for days. Mr. Oh, one up uh, special. <laughs> Grabbed into grab. Love to see it. Okay, we are gonna swap and DP and that's somehow gonna hit here. Ooh, very nice homing over the JC. They're just gonna be getting avoiding and getting the punish. Yeah, so not, you know, despite the fact that Yosuke, I feel like hasn't taken a lot of damage. Like, this, most of his health is gone. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't Ooh. take a lot for Mr. Wakando's team to take up like that whole health bar, or at least half of it, as we can see. Okay, do you want Reaper? And we're gonna try to defend here. Yeah. DP, that's gonna miss, and now we're gonna punish you from missing that, although it's a small punish, but it's everything counts, and we're gonna get punished for trying to use that 5C here. Yeah, now we're gonna have gonna some be... ethereal DPs. Funny DP, actually. One of, the more, one of the more, like, unique ones, I guess. Yeah, Because it goes, like, upwards, <laughs> and then back down. 
Although that's like half the cast what I'm talking about. Okay, Woohoo is gonna hit, Woohoo is gonna end. <laughs> and Mr. One Up is gonna take the second game here. Gonna be a 3 0. Yep. Definitely. I mean, not as polarized, not a, like not a super polarizing mess, not for sure. Uh, but uh, definitely a lot closer there for Isab. Didn't really get any of their characters killed. There was no threat of the Asheril there. And especially just based off the Resonance Diamonds we saw there, uh, Wee Kondo definitely was like kind of on the back foot for the entire game, despite like necessarily how long that match took. Uh, just like for the simple fact that like they just couldn't really get any offense going meaningfully. Isip had them locked down for the most part and their one opportunity to really get something going didn't bear too much fruit and just eventually just kind of fiddled out there and especially that heart dying early was not a good sign but yeah gonna be swapping over to the Azrael Yumi. Okay also uh, not FA. Uh... Koala with a gun and versus Sloth with no gun. Sloth win that wins that matchup. No contest. Okay, back to the game. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. That, was, that. that seemed very important to BB Tag. Yeah, it, come on. Uh, but it's like... It's Koala with a gun, come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. BB Tag to commentate. <laughs> <laughs> we can, the, we can talk about the logistics now. of the koala with the gun later. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to answer to the people's call when they ask me of such questions. I, I, I just have to answer, even though it's just free. And now we're gonna go back to the game and we're gonna have some Ashriel pressure here. And to the corner we go. Yep. yep. Gonna be getting such a huge amount of damage here just off that 5B hit. Ooh, actually went oh, for the yeah. reset there. That was, I've never seen that. That's that was pretty sick, honestly. Yeah, but Yukondo not out of the woods yet. Definitely have seen the power of solo Yosuke can do. Gets hit with the 2A1. On, swap it! Swap it out, please! Swap oh the Yumi out, God. swap it out, swap it out. Please. Okay. Oh wait. my. He's yeah, gonna... he playing with some fire here. <laughs> oh, sh oh no, that's oh, no. that's really gonna come. <laughs> oh, sh uh, not like <laughs> this. No. I, yeah, I mean, it was so risky to play with that Yumi for such a long time, I mean, and we saw exactly why that was the case here. Just the just the perfect storm of just tragedy there. Not only did Yusef have the freaking Astral on deck, the Yumi died immediately. Like, my god. Was not was not prepared for how that match was going to end. But unfortunately, Wakondo going to be taking a 3-0 loss over Yusef. And going to, uh, I mean, Yusef going to be moving on to the next round there. But still, North America... Still got still got some time left. We got the time to run through the the losers bracket, but we'll have to see. So that uh, locks in the winner. Right, I need to play the losers round one. I just uh, I forgot. <laughs> have you have you been holding up the bracket this entire time? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. We got uh, uh, our resist shy got here. Okay, okay. Go 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 play your match. Go. No, uh, no, 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 no. We we can play like Arma Shyoshiga, I think. And I can play like mine. Uh, no, look. We we're throwing you into the pit, Zuko. You freaking Bruh. stalled us out for so long. You're going to be stre on stream again. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> I simply forgot. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Indeed. Uh, we're gonna do as our overlord Sefi says, and I guess we're gonna play my match. I guess. Yeah. Good luck. You're Hello, Mr. Shyoshka. Yeah, it's about your time you make room, son. Now get lost. Anyhow, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Hello there. It's me, Mr. Shayoshi guy. Welcome, welcome. I have joined you in the commentary seat because Mr. Yukosen Humala needs to do some matches, I heard. Yep, yep, he's up right now, in fact. I'm going against, against uh, Mr. Floyd Kendrick. I, uh, I imagine you haven't heard much of Mr. Floyd Kendricks, I mean. Yeah, yeah, this I've would actually... Him. Yeah. I haven't seen him in many tourneys around these days. He is on my show, but besides that, he's never really around on the Awakening of Chaos uh, at this point. So However, I would like to... I would like to add that he does like playing the Akatsuki Akihiko. And uh, he does. <laughs> he always does combos with assists. So. Uh... <laughs> you know, I have to see how this goes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll all have to see. And for already starting off here with not being able to tech out. Oh, yeah, good opportunity to burst out, but was just not ready to convert off that combo. Okay. Tatsu? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, get, oh, wait a minute. Oh, nice blocking, actually. Oh, oh no! The God Press! You can't block command throws, fun fact. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, that's not actually too much damage. I thought that was gonna kill. Not quite. Good burst. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no. That, uh, that, that's Yuki Kaze definitely doing quite a number there. Oh, that's too bad. Just have to wait a little longer. Ooh, catch him with the old. Nice burst, nice burst again. Uh, you know, like, Floyd's burst points have been like pretty like on point. It's just like they can't seem to like ever actually start some offense here. Definitely been on the back foot, but a very nice parry there. But just wasn't expecting the two A from that far, and Yuki going to be taking the first game. I do think the skill level is a bit uh, imbalanced in this case. I do believe uh, Freud Kendrick should be looked at as more as a beginner, but uh, I mean, it's been improving, I guess. There's still a way yet to go, perhaps. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of unfortunate for beginners. Sometimes they get just thrown in the shark tank when it comes to these tournaments, but I'm glad to see them still you know, playing. True, true, true. Like, that's the thing uh, that I uh, like to see about beginners. You know, even though they're not, you know, <laughs> scoring high most of the time, they're always, you know, when they come back, it's always good to see them back, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you know, they're just... still on that grind, they're still trying to get good, you know, that's what you like to see. Definitely gotta, you know, put yourself out there to improve, but hopefully this team swap will go a little bit better here for Lloyd. Or Floyd, I should say. Not Lloyd. <laughs> there was an F in that name, fun fact. Oh my god. Oh, change to the Yang. I, I don't know about that, but Yang is definitely an interesting character. So. Maybe we'll get something out of it. Starting off with the sway there. Not ready for the low, but Yuko not ready to convert off that burst either. He's waiting. Oh my god. Oh, oh opens him up. No conversion. Oh, there we go. A decent burst. I think he could have punished that. Yeah, I think he was a bit more cognizant of it. He could have just cancelled into EX. Oh, very nice course through there. You love to see it, but no conversion. And now you could just back on the offense. Bring him all the way yeah, to the jump. corner. Yeah, just trying to kind of like oppress this Akihiko down. Oh, unfortunate DP! Oh, oh the, the double oh, the swap out! Oh my god. Oh no! Oh, good punish. Uh oh! Yeah. Just the, the stare off! Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna be grabbing straight through that situation. Like, Floyd definitely, definitely, you know, despite kind of their life disadvantage, definitely wants to choose some violence here for sure. Oh, goodbye. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh no! Floyd! Listen, brother! <laughs> you need to. Oh, well, it's too late now. Yeah, that should be a kill with Cross Raid. Yeah, I'm... Looked a bit better there in that matchup. Definitely was making a lot more strides there. Just uh, a lot of drops, I think. And maybe just a lot of like moments where they just lost a lot of momentum. But 
Yeah, I mean, they're approved. Yeah, it's it's a learning process, brother, and sometimes you know you have to take L's here and there to improve, and you know that is a hard thing to learn sometimes. Yes, Still have that yes. to that day myself, you know. Not of course. I mean, I got I got shrek by Ice just uh, just a little bit ago, so everything. At the end of the day is a learning experience, win or loss. Yeah. Well, in this case especially, since Floyd Kendricks, you know, needs uh, needs that experience to yeah, really improve sure. here. See, for most, no, like most players in like big tourneys, it doesn't really matter. You know, you're really coming out for the victory, but in this case, you know, I think Floyd just wants to play, brother. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the skill level is just a little off balance. I mean, Yuko does have a pretty, uh, I mean, you know, there was some uh, fighting back here and there, but Yuko seemed to have a pretty clean match, uh, or pretty clean matches up until now. Ooh, actually was able to hit the low there and going to be converting off with that EX, but yeah, didn't quite get right. the Oki right. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no! Yeah, I mean, that could have definitely been a lot worse there. Like, if they just blocked it, like, Hakuman does some mad damage. They really got hit by the assist, but getting hit by the Hakuman here, here by the JA jump in. Oh. Oh, nice! Here we go! Oh. Is that gonna oh. kill? No. Uh. Uh. Oh, DHC? Is he blocking? He's blocking! Ooh. Nice! Let's go! Yo. Yeah! Getting the first kill here, definitely very big, but still gotta be very, very careful here with the Akiko. He is just constantly going in, but oh, oh. no, the counter hit, no burst out ah, in ah, time. Ah. <laughs> oh, here we go! No, the Back funny the button. Oh. Man! So close for Floyd Kendricks. Can he close it out? Come on, man! Yeah, DPs! Yo, hear me out, JC. Just ah, <laughs> oh, unfortunate. I don't think oh, this is, is this gonna, gonna be a kill. kill? I actually don't know. <gasps> no, I was too scared. Oh, he still has a chance. He still has a chance. That's Sample Ting. That's Sample Ting. <laughs> Does he know the loops? No, no he no. probably could have killed with loops. <laughs> yeah, if he did the EX loops, he would have totally killed the thing. With burning and everything, yeah. Wait a minute! Oh, no. oh, the rock super! Oh, oh man. So close. <laughs> Dang, I was rooting for the man. Oh my god. Man. It'd be All like right. that. Alright, I'm gonna blame Yuko for not putting over Young Talent like that. Like, that's just disrespectful. <laughs> ah, never mind. Uh... Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure Burning Gold would have punished there, but that definitely wasn't the right super to try to do. But, yeah. Yeah, Burning I'm not sure either now. Yeah. It's, it's hard to say. That 5 BB, I mean, it's not the most minus on, on push block, but it's also not, like, super punishable. But, like, it, it, it would have been worth the try. It would it would have made a funny clip. <laughs> definitely, definitely. All right, well, that means uh, Yuko is moving on to the next round, where he will be facing... Uh... Oh, wait, will I be... Oh, nope, it's me first. Well, see ya. Oh, back to the void you... I go. Oh, goodbye. Yo, get back to your void. <laughs> you eldritch horror. <laughs> Good stuff in your, in your match. Moving on. Yo, Koken. We're gonna get dropped next round, though. Don't be worried. <laughs> oh, if I remember correctly, when I've gone against like Wakanda, like the base uh, sets in the lobbies, I've lost hard, and I'm gonna put my odd pass on so Shayoshiga and Arma can play their game. Yep. Hope him though. Hope him. But who who cares about that now? Because now we're gonna have Shayoshiga. Arma. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Some are gonna be going Arma sweep here. I, if I had to guess, but I believe in my 
in our commentator buddy buddy friend with his heart and Katsuki. With yeah. the power of love, bo love boys, we're gonna make it. We're gonna beat out the manly men. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna be two A tapping that heart away, but not quite able to punish it. Ah, uh, yeah, that is minus one. Nope, not gonna hit those when oh, we're my. ducking and weaving. Yeah, we are swinging. Okay. Yeah, the assist uh, plus. Uh, please say, save save him. There. Please save him. Okay. We're gonna just take the damage here. But are we gonna swap out here? I hope. Yep, we are gonna swap out to the heart. So now we are gonna have some Snow versus Heart action here. For a bit. Yep. While the others recover. Okay. Uh, the heart definitely moving and grooving right now. That was a pretty yep. nice block. I definitely got hit by that. <laughs> Ooh, but not quite able to bait out that DP, Ooh, but we'll be able to take this throw. We take those, we take those. Although, okay, please, you have to do it. You have to save your friend. Although, yeah. no, you are gonna die instead. Actually, nah, you don't have super. Could have potentially killed off that, did have build out of meter, but the DP punish looking like going to be sealing off the Akasi here. Level 4 Resonance Heart definitely can make some crazy things happen, but not when you get your DP baited like that. And uh, yeah, Shayoshi guy gonna be taking the first L here. Uh, <laughs> like that's like one thing about like hard DP, even though it's like like on average same as other DPs. Like the time with when you make the mistake though, that like it hits it extra hard because it like after you whiff it, it goes like slow motion, and you're gonna think about your actions, what you have done. <laughs> Missing yep. DPs. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Mr. Arma is gonna take that first game though. This seems laggy. Kinda ass. <laughs> uh, uh, it looks fun to me. On the commentator side. Don't know about the players though. It's uh, it is PC tag shenanigans. It do be PC tag shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, they're they're continue on with the match, so like, I can only assume that their the connectivity issues aren't that bad, but like, yo, ah, uh, yo, we got those combos. Let's go. Okay, nice we're not low there. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna have some damage, at least to the Akiko, and now we're gonna get some damage to the Susan as well. But DP is gonna cut that shortly, and hard DP is gonna now slow down the game a bit. We're gonna just send that Akatsuki forward, just kicking in. And now we're gonna have some shenanigans. Okay. Plan. This is another doesn't yeah. want to come in anything. We're just gonna play defensive here. Oh, Ooh, okay. yeah, that could have potentially been a huge punish there if that was timed correctly. Yeah, a bit impatient. Oh, I respect it. Ew. Yeah, yeah. Could have just like punished that like straight up, but wanted to get a bit more of a green punish there with the five B enemy okay, for good reason. Yeah. That five B is a pretty stonk starter. Not gonna oh, okay. go full out with the damage. We're gonna spend that meter with the uh, assist, but we're not gonna super here. And okay, is that yeah. death? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, with the counter yeah. hit. Yeah, yeah. Gonna be doing yep. a nice six point nine. It's it's Nakatsuki damage. <laughs> Come on, it's death. And fucking five B covering stuff, not letting the Susano move at all. Hit the screen. No, you are not coming on my corner of the screen. And I'm just gonna fly with my heart from one end to the other while the 5p goes up. Although, we've still not done any... Okay, we're gonna... I was gonna say we're not gonna do any unblock boss, but we're not gonna still do some grabs. And some Akatsuki loops. 
Uh, so now I'm in a tough spot right now. So. Ooh, nope. Yeah, that's a my bit grab. Plus. That's my grab. Mr. Armor, that's my grab. Yeah. Not your grab, come on. I feel like oh, if he did another loop with that, he was, should be able to kill, but gonna be waking up with the super here. Yeah, it's gonna be a free kill. There okay, in the heart doesn't uh... even need to work on, on a DHC, but still, Arma in the one touch situation here. But I mean, I guess I can say the same thing for Sayoshi, I consider it's freaking Susano. Yeah, it's gonna cash out his super, keep it all simple, and Arma yep. barely able to clutch out the second game, but nonetheless taking it. Mm hmm. Actually, now that. Uh, at the end of the match, there though, the lag, lag you could certainly see it there, though. Or was it only like on my end? Like it yeah. seemed like kind of laggy there. At the I end. haven't, I haven't been mentioning it, but it is pretty chunky. <laughs> <laughs> it do, it do be hitting different, as the young ones say these days. It do hit different when the lag hits. And you're trying to combo off of that, man. It, it does look like kind of like delay based, I won't lie. But that's... Man, delay based? Delay based on what? <laughs> that's too easy, I'm not gonna fall for that. Yeah. Good try, though. <laughs> but you're, that was too easy. And. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That's crazy yeah. indeed. Anyways, Chayoshi guy going to be swapping over to an entirely different team, the Ruby Yo. Batista. Yo, this is the this is the OG Chayoshi guy team, the Batista Ruby. This is like his like most played team. The yep. Ruby is first gonna take the top. Okay, now the Batista is gonna take a big. Beating from this is now. Uh, now it's Ruby's turn. Now it's Ruby's uh, turn. It's definitely not the right place to burst out here. Gonna be hitting with the 2C and baiting the DP2, but not ready for much it. Okay. Ooh. Burst coming in. Not gonna punish that uh, missed grab. Let's see. Yeah, able to get the landing punish on that fireball, but not quite able to convert off it. Yep. Arma refusing to not abuse the Susano JB. Yeah, I mean, it's a very good button. It's, it's super <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it is super stupid. I can, I, I can agree. Uh, hey, oh, you know what's also uh, stupid? Susan for a. <laughs> no, 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 he needs it. It Does he really need his like three <laughs> frame of recovery for plus three on block for a? <laughs> he, he needs it. Come on, it's just a no. He's like the worst character of the game. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, come on. Yeah, I... Have you seen Batista? Come on, it's basically like you're oh. playing Hilda. He needs it. <laughs> and I mean, in any case, yeah, that, that Akihiko definitely going to be taking quite a bit of damage here. Ooh, try to push Ooh. out in order to punish the spin, but not working out. Yeah, this Matisse is making some effort, but, like, she needs to do a lot here in this match. To be fair, she, she's been doing fine, and then she gets grabbed as soon as I compliment it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Unless that lag is gonna be on Chelsea guy's side. No. No. The lag gods won't drop Armor's combo, and he's gonna get downtown. Uh, base, not base, but what is it? Basketball style, and we're gonna just dump that uh, robot girl, whatever. I haven't played Unis into the ground, and we're gonna win <laughs> this match. Yeah. Words are hard to do. I English is not, not my first language, my guy. Nah, don't worry. English is my first language, and I still struggle with it. It's a stupid language. <laughs> Indeed. I hate English. It's, uh, it's a horrible thing. I hate that. Uh, it makes no sense. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, speaking of hating, uh, hating. Uh, next is gonna be me versus Ricardo, and uh, I hope him. I hope him is gonna run strong in my veins. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It'll be fine, I think. 
Also, uh, still going a bit back to the last match. Well played still, both players. Um, unfortunately, though, Shaiyaji guy is gonna be dropped from the tournament with armor, winning that one. Hey, look, if but you it was good, match, good showing, him. though. <laughs> good showing, though, Mr. Shy. And now we are gonna continue suffering. Oh, Please man, go man. easy on me, Mr. N.A. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Well, I'm back. Oh, man. I. I... I have somehow climbed out of the void and I'm back here. Just to get back pu pushed into it, I think. Oh, no, actually, maybe not. I think this uh, is a save, so. <laughs> teleported for, uh, like, Sefi just teleported you into the commentator's booth from the void. Yes. He, he got me out of it. Well, nice guy. You know, that's he's such a nice guy. And Sefi, Sefarius, he, he's a nice man. Very cool guy. Very cool guy. The, in any case, <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got some. We, we do got some BB tech to commentate. <laughs> Very true, actually. Uh, oh my! All right. Ooh, very nice air stall. Not a counter hit though, so not able to convert off it. Oh my! Happy birthday! Uh, happy oh my birthday God. to you! That's big damage. He's got four meters! Wait, no, he's got one meter, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I, that's why I was a little surprised that he actually committed to that cross combo because it's like, it's it wasn't gonna be a huge cash out. Very true, actually. But this is looking a lot. or really good for Mr. Yuko here. Yeah, both characters in the low zone, but the heart buttons being as funny as always. Yeah, you're gonna be spending some cash, getting a little bit of extra damage. Ooh, basic oh, Yuki Kaze nice. too! But Brasa oh. combo? No, it was a reset! That's what we- American reset, baby! Showing up the <laughs> NA pride! <laughs> oh my god... Even oh. we didn't- don't know if that was a reset or not. <laughs> but we- it worked out, okay? It's all about it. Ooh. That's okay. Yeah, I played very brave with our heart there, considering she was, like, basically one touch. Uh oh Oh, nice DP. Oh, no fear. Uh oh, and no fear from Yuko either. Man, Yuko picking up that first W. I didn't think he was gonna bring bring the the, the heat like this. Yeah, look, he, he he had to psych himself up, you know, really brave brace himself for the storm that is Hard Azrael, and like you know, he he came out of it fine. <laughs> yeah, he did. Quite surprisingly, actually. Yes, but still, we kind of putting up a good amount of fight there, despite like definitely being on the back foot for most of that game. Uh, I mean, Heart's a terrifying character, like pretty much anywhere, like neutral, like on on defense, you have him to block her. So many things you have to deal with, and like damage output's also very good and all of that. So we got to be careful, and we kind of definitely very keen about baiting out a lot of uh, Hakuman DPS and counters. So. Uko got to be a bit more, uh, a bit more conservative about that, and not just throw them out because it's very clear that Wikanda is willing to play around them. I mean, Yuko's got to watch out. That first match showing that he can do that, though. Little growler showing that he's, you know, he can get that upper hand, that he can get the combos off. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, oh! And he got reset. Oh God, that's My gonna God, hurt no. more. Like, that's just worse. Like, a combo sucks, but the reset is the worst thing. Oh, oh my. yeah. Yeah, we saw the, him do that in one of his previous games where he actually hits the uh, the air unblockable reset there. It's very snasty. That Definitely is not so okay. much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's illegal. Oh. oh, my God. You're gonna love them. You're gonna love them combos like that. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, those are like the heart like optimals. They're 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 pretty hard to do, honestly. And the, ooh, yeah, the counter hit punch there was able to go into the actually doesn't even need to go in the cross straight. Yeah, just spend the cash going to the five A and we condo, you know, fire him back with a very good game of his own. Very nice W there from Wakando. The first game didn't go that well for him, but finally 
you know, showing what he's got to bring to the table. The only NA representative right here. So, you know, he's got to pull the entire continent on his back. So, you know, yeah. He's got to do yeah, good here. Yeah. I mean, he's got the ass real. He's got, he's got big, he's got big legs, big arms. He can do it. I think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, then uh, we're going into match three here. It's one all still. You could, could still bring it back. I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, just just uh, judging based how that first game went, like definitely Uko can make some very good strides in the in the matchup. It's just like it's a matter of really just like actually getting going. Yeah, let's see what's the round start going to be. Oh, just back dashing. All right. <laughs> And a very good air to air conversion too. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, oh, see nice. like hey. He knows, he knows he wants a DP. Like it's a every Hawkman player's instinct. Ah, very true actually. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard the legends of DP man. I mean would you say that mix Mr. Zaxi C is also a, a DP happy man? He's not DP happy. His life is DP. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't think you'd go there, man, but alright. <laughs> he admits this himself. He loves the DP, boy. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to you know stay off of it sometimes. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, Uko once again being kind of put, put on the back foot here. But still, you know... Gonna be getting some a good amount of damage. Not gonna be a happy birthday, but we'll be able to open up the dome with the 5C. Oh, that should be a punish. Oh no, it was a bit too mistimed. Oh, nice dodge, nice punish. Oh, good, good Russell, Catching that out. You can't, you can't, you can't allow that. Ooh, but still, Uko uh -oh. gotta be very careful here. Yeah, both his characters in the one touch. Oh, just one hit for Wakando. That's all she wrote. Meanwhile, Yuko still needs two or maybe even three. Astro on deck! Ooh, oh, here it comes! <laughs> uh, is that number two? I think that's number two. Yeah, that's number two for uh, for today. Funnily, well, funnily enough, the other one was against Wikondo. So, you know, Wikondo doing it back to somebody else. Just just, just some Raccoon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Still, man. I... I I usually don't see like astrals happening ever in tourneys like these, but apparently when the big boys coming around, they bringing them out, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the show, be like that. Yeah, for the show, you gotta, you gotta bring in the viewers, you know. You gotta bring out the big, big moves. The content. Yeah, that for the content. <laughs> uh, we do need more BB Tech content, man. Yeah. It's nice that we have any at all, but yeah, that's always it's always good to see more. Exactly. No, you gotta love this stuff, man. Yeah, it's it's absolutely silly. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes that's a good thing. Yeah, but for 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 sure, not not a bad thing at all when the game is just absolutely like, a, I don't know what's going on, but this is amazing type of deal. <laughs> That's how that's how I feel watching BB Tag sometimes. It's like this is so confusing. I love it. Give me more. Exactly. Honestly, you know that's why I like you know that the beginners are staying around here and there. You know? yeah. Even though you're not, they're not a lot of them. But if they do stay around, you know that's good stuff. Because <laughs> they do be pressing a lot of five C's and shit like that that the pros don't do anymore. You love to see it sometimes. I, I promise you, man. If, you, if you've ever, like, see one of the beginner <laughs> tourneys we did, that was great stuff. Yep. Anyways, once again, we got some BB tag in the comments. Oh, that is a huge happy birthday. Oh, awesome. heart fell out? Yeah. Not as much damage as you can, but, like, still. Uko looking a lot better in this match. Looking kind of like the first one, but, like, this heart still on a terror, for sure. That's a safe oh jump, yeah. God. Oh, that was insane! Catching out the DP like that, that's a dead Suzuno! That's, that's big, that's huge! Oh, the double oh. teleport! My god! Yeah, that that's all she right wrote. Uko absolutely 
has been schmixed out of his mind. I don't know how else to call that. Tries to deep just because why not really? <laughs> Look, he 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 looks up to the legends of DP man. He wanted he wanted to be a cool DP man as well. Unfortunately, Lee Kondo's too on point with meeting them out, and we'll be taking the set three one. Lee Kondo's so good. Holy crap! <laughs> yes, so on point. Like the great man once said, "You live by the DP, or you die by the DP." Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely taking some notes there from Zach. Just, uh, DP. <laughs> just DP. <laughs> oh, or, yeah. or just super DP. Yeah, I mean, look, Hakuman has three DPs as far as I'm concerned. Yuki Kaze, the blue DP, and the red DP. Indeed. Also, fun fact, uh, Hakuman is basically, like, the only guy who can super out of a DP. It's very funny. It is indeed funny. Amazing. And it's and it's from a air DP as well, which is amazing, because you do have backflip, which is cool. Yeah. Well, I, anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it was a pleasure being here. I will be on my way now. I hope you all have a good time commentating all the yes. action coming up. And yes, I'll uh, see you all next time. Good to have you here. Also, GG's Mr. Ricardo. Very right. well played. See ya. Also, My. see ya, Mr. Shayoji guy. Alright, alright. Looks like we'll be getting on to our winner's finals match here. Uh, Iseba versus the one and only DP man himself. Yo, are we living the first 100 yet again? With the yeah. one up versus Zach matchup yet again. Yo, finally. It's yeah, like the, I've the... seen this same matchup for like 10 hour, hours straight. Yeah, it's almost like you have a recording of that matchup somewhere. No clue what you're talking about. No, clueless. Clueless. <laughs> yeah. If I'm not mistaken, the, the victory of that supposed first to 100 was Issa, but it has been like a long ass time since that happened, and it's a diff in a very different environment, so a lot of things can change. And it's already starting off a lot better here for uh, for Zach. You're going to be getting the full charge simpo, and that Yosuke is almost dead. <laughs> yep. That's gonna be hard. Okay, that is just dead Yosuke. Oh no, the 2A is gonna whiff. Hakuman, like, back grab is, like, weird to gumpo from off. Because you can't do, like, certain stuff from it. But... Oh. Okay, that is gonna miss. And we're not gonna punish that. Yeah. Fortunately, Hakuman doesn't really have traditional movement options, so couldn't really get there on time. That was oh. a very nice block on the overhead. Spicy going for the overhead. Okay, that is a lot of damage now. Okay, where it went too high, unfortunate. We cannot combo from that, but this we can. No, we cannot, because we are gonna be met by a Yoshige DP here. Ooh, okay. that was a very good 4P call, able to call Ooh, we between those. the two A's. Yeah, and once again, the DPs are coming in, coming in, flying, Ooh. and yeah, he said throwing out one by himself and going to be getting punished here. He said left with the solo uh, Kurgani, but I don't think it's going to be that case for long. Yep. Okay, we're going to have some Hakuman not action. Not for long, though, since the Hakuman is going to die. Yep. And 1UP is going to take the first game here, 1-2-0. Yes, and kind of a blink of an eye it was just like, yeah, suddenly, you know, you, like you said, losing a character, uh, kind of like, was kind of curious how the Kurigane was going to navigate between like two characters with very long range normals, but it turns out the, un the, the, the answer was to Unga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both sides just unga for the moment, and okay, one character down for both. And then, uh, mo not much later, we're gonna be bush plonked, and then, yeah, we're just gonna lose the game from a single bush plonk. Quite incredible, one could say. Honestly, quite incredible. Man. Honestly, honestly. Okay, never Kurigane mind. That. Definitely, uh, 
Has a lot of good forward advancing moves, so you gotta be careful even from mid range. Yeah. And we can just 6-6 six, six out of like half of those. Okay. Slide into grab. The classic. And we're. <laughs> okay. Well, well, we are. In the other corner with the assists, we're just going to combo from that while waiting for the Hawkman to advance. Yep. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, what's the Mr. 2A to... link? We're trying to do the funny routes. Ooh, okay. I... He almost got punished for that. <laughs> okay. Teleports? No. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, yeah, stop the breaks there on the uh, the moonsault combos. I was a little bit worried about that six P coming out in time. Yeah, stuff is just happening at the moment. But user is getting getting comboed. Okay, we're gonna get the burst punish off, and now Hakuman is gonna get comboed. Though I don't think there's gonna be some like decent damage. Although it's not much since it's still like Yosuke. Yep. Okay, Zantetsu. Well, okay, that user is just gonna go down from that. Bit ambitious there. Okay, Ooh. is this gonna. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, that's a. Although it's woohoo damage. Yeah, I mean, he has DHC. I should definitely go with DHC. Alright, he has this. Yeah. With the woohoo only. Yeah, no, no chance. Woohoo can't even do like 100 damage. <laughs> Yeah, the minimum damage on uh, the kunai super, not very good. It's, yeah, it, uh... <laughs> it, it's like you're basically just tickling them. Yeah. You know, when you got the DHC in the back, the, the, the kind of small damage of the kunai is, doesn't matter all too much when you can just kill like that. And yeah, yeah. this is going to be going up another game, 2-0 for we're him. Gonna... Yeah. First we're going to tickle them on their backside and then get... we're going to... Just fully punch them in the face yeah, with the uh, not the DHE. They they tickle the back and then they break the back. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> just like oh, you thought that was <laughs> that, you thought that was a little damage. Watch this, Kuragane comes in and just kills you. Nothing personal, kid coming from the backside. Yeah. Ooh, very good patience there for Zach. But really sniffed out the burst and he said dead beat Ooh. or bite. Ah! No, we're not gonna continue from that. Okay, we are gonna panic DP here. Grabs in the swap. And now we're gonna. Give it... Nope. Okay, some not compass here. Looking good, looking good. Ending with the DPs and. oh. Okay, we're gonna burst punish now. We're still yeah. gonna continue now to stop. And uh, we're gonna end with DPs as per usual. Definitely, this Nato has been on quite the roll here. Ooh, could have been a fatal mistake there for Akuman calling out the assistant die, but this Ooh. will be a fatal mistake here. You called them out at just the wrong moment. Oh, hit him with <laughs> I, the five CE. I, I, I respect the five CEs. We're going for the double. I feel like Isab was trying to bait out the DP there, but like, yeah. It was the one time they did a DP, or uh, they did he DP did the wrong when he didn't one. Did it. He did the wrong one. He was supposed to do the flurry slashish, but yeah. Going close to the knot of its meter. Yeah, not the best idea with Zack there. And because of that mistake, he's yeah, gonna lose the round here. Yeah, we are gonna be taking quite the nice 3-0 victory against Zack here. And uh, yeah, just very excellent, you know, Tokuragane Yosuke play. It is what I expect from a bro such as Isaac. Yeah. Man, bro battles. One gets banished to the loser's bracket while the other continues to the uh, grand finals there. And next we're going to have, let's see, let's see, let's see, we're going to have the Kondo versus Arma here. Arma sweep versus the Azrael sweep. Big damage teams all around. Yeah, that most definitely going to be quite an explosive battle. 
Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Kondo has very much consistently stuck with the heart Azrael for the most of the tournament, and I don't see a reason to really swap off here. Um, Art has a pretty okay matchup going into, up against both characters. Uh, one thing you really got to watch out for is like Susan uh, JB as well as his 4P. And you know, Asriel, or, or no, sorry, not Asriel, uh, Agiuko definitely has some pretty like fast air buttons too that can potentially snipe out Art. But I feel like the air control is going to be a lot more free compared to some of his more previous matches for sure. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to see how this one uh, plays out. I think the heart is definitely going to be quite the nuisance here, though. Mm -hmm. We'll see, we'll see. It can go one way or another. Yeah, definitely expecting quite the close set between these two. Uh, yeah, once again, starting out with the Corsair, but the Susano in the back still actually was active, so it is able to get that active swap mix. Yep, we are gonna go straight into the Susano funnies, and we're gonna end it with the. Oh, we're going for the unblockable there. Although we are not gonna be able to continue from that, and now we're gonna burst get that Akiko out of there. Yeah. Yeah, once again, like, one thing I've noticed about Wikondo is that he's very bold with a lot of characters. At least Ooh, out oh, vulnerable birthday, like this. And, I mean, like, he got hit by a happy birthday dare, just gonna be losing their Azrael. Could have definitely been avoided there, I think, but, like, yeah, you, you gotta live with your mistakes. Very nice backhoming. Once again, a very nice backhoming. Gonna be punishing that uh, 5B string here and going with the empty jump. Oh, yeah, she's she gonna be going nuts. But how the long heart. can she keep up the momentum is the question here. I, for quite a while, apparently. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, the charge! 5B, that's gonna hurt. But we're yeah, and not skipping a beat at all. We condo, despite losing a character that early, the heart momentum going absolutely not stealing the, the quarter JP. here. And to make the comeback with the solo heart. Just this like that. Maybe he, doesn't, he, maybe he doesn't need Azrael. Maybe he can just play I, Art. I hate JP so much. Why? Why, why I does it work? Heart. I love Heart I know. What do you mean? This character is sick. <laughs> why, does it, why does it work? Why does JP work the I way it does? I love Heart. This character is sick. <laughs> like, for the rec record, like, JP has a mind of its own. Like, for real. It, it just goes and does it. Although, like... Still, like that mix, still was with the heart in the end. There, it was like going for the lows, going for the wedge, and baiting out the DPs, and then just finishing the, uh, the Ezreal off. And right after the other one with the JP, that's that was really, really, really good comeback from Vagando there, yeah, taking that... a match for himself. Literally, as soon as that Ezreal guy, that Ezreal died. My man's went like, I okay, it's time to play serious. And he basically played perfectly that entire time. Couldn't notice a single mistake. Had every right call out on everything. It was like, it was excellent. But going to be starting off kind of bad here with the 2A call. And getting schmixed there by the Akihiko cross-up as well. Yeah, this is, uh, once again, not looking so good for Wikondo here in the start. And yeah, nothing Ooh. personnel teleports right behind you. This is looking like a dead here. <laughs> That's dead. That's dead. No bur no burst to save. No, it's not dead. It's sliver of HP, but the clock, the Susan the gun is gonna it's gonna finish off that Azrael, no problem there. I mean like we saw Wikondo make an insane comeback next time. I don't know if lightning can strike twice here, but the thing to know, like he didn't even pop resonance last time either, so Oh yeah, go into oh, the, 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 vor the, the the vortex is starting. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, is the, the, is, is the history repeating itself? Yeah, I gotta be popping the resonance here because, like, why not? It has a, like, a lot of life to get back, but it's only level one, too. Very nice back homings once more. Gonna be cashing out in the heart snowball. Simply doesn't stop. Yeah, we're in his head like, right now, Long. We are in his head. The same corner, the same heart. We are in there. 
We're mixing. We're going. We're flying. We're going. We're getting those lows. We're gonna go and we're gonna combo you to oblivion. Although this time the DP, we're gonna escape the corner for now. We'll see yeah. though. Mikano has made so much project here in this matchup, but still, one touch could potentially spell doom for him, but he will simply not let it happen. The power of love prevailing once more. The JP, the JPs, we're just gonna kick you, kick you down. We're gonna take those games. I don't care if you have two characters, I can take you all by myself with the heart on my side. I don't need the Ezreal, I don't need the big man. I only need the power of love, my guy. It's just, it's just like, man, it's, it was just another matter of just like, oh god, this is sucking at the start, like he was getting mixed by the Akihiko, constantly just taking so much damage, bad bursts everywhere, and then just the, the character dies and it's just like he activates sickle mode. He just goes nuts. <laughs> man, heart, the heart is popping off right now, it truly is. It's crazy. <laughs> we shall see though if it will pop up, pop off one last time here. If he will send send Mr. Arma to the not even loser bracket, fucking out of the to tournament. The we'll see <laughs> to the void. Yes, <laughs> we shall see if the heart can do it yet again. Ooh, five oh, C no. <laughs> side swaps hard five C. Okay. Okay, the Akiko is coming in. We're gonna grab, and now we're gonna Cyclone 5 year. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of had to force out a burst there. Once again, DPing. And, and like, you know, I've been questioning, like, you know, we can't as a student and constantly keeping the Azure, but what I've seen, it's like, it, it's it's not... It, he, he doesn't need it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. it now. Yeah, but the heart isn't powered up. Yet though, the Azrael needs to die. Okay, the Azrael is dead. The Azrael is dead. The Azrael is dead. Now it's the real, the real stage two of the boss battle begins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're trying. Oh, for a hitting, hitting hard. We're not gonna use. The oh, okay, wrong side. Unfortunate. We're Thank gonna burst right away. No, we are not gonna give that a heart. Okay. I think this is gonna. Oh, no! We're gonna be dropping these. Unfortunate. That could have been it. And now we're gonna pay for our crimes. Yeah, and I mean, this is when the snowball gets to start here. Yeah, 2A there, able to bait the burst too. Here it comes, baby. The heart I know is the power of love. <laughs> Come on. Arma, Arma sweep. Come on. I believe. Yeah, on, but like, we Kondo definitely still has that resonance to play with, and it's pretty risky that it isn't pop it left. Has a lot of red health he can play with, but he's certainly like kind of in a one touch zone. Oh, that's oh dead. That's no! Dead. Yeah, that's unfortunate dead. there. We are not gonna play around. We are not gonna. The, the heart. I know. No, no. I've, I've had enough. We are just gonna. You miss a DP. I'm gonna punish you with death. No, we're not gonna have another sweep with the I know. And we're gonna take it to a 2-2. Two -two. It's 2-1. It's <laughs> no, it's not. Or is it? It's 2-1, yeah. <laughs> it's 2-1? Yeah. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Boys, we're gonna take it to 2-1. Two -one. One more Scratch game, that one. off the record, please. Sefi, I know you can do this. Uh, look, no, one, no one will be able to tell you said that. There's Indeed. no proof. There's no... There's, there's, there's not... There's not... <laughs> There's no proof, indeed. We're gonna take it to 2 1, boys. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to see. I mean, this heart, this heart, like, despite losing that game, still was the main carry <laughs> for that match and, like, was, was making some good progress on it once more, but, like, uh, just one big mistake and not really having the health total to really afford to do that is, uh, it kind of cost them there. I was, again, very surprised about them not popping the residences early, but live with your mistakes. Yep. We shall see how this one will go. The fourth game, indeed. Okay, we're gonna start off with some, some small damage to Akiko. 
and we're gonna build that from over flats. But no, we are, for some reason we have now killing intentions on the heart. We are not gonna want to take that son of the solo here. We want that one dead. Yeah. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, kind of an unfortunate place to burst out, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave the the the, the, the main carry of the team, the heart I know for back there. Ooh, actually mashed out, but didn't quite believe in it. Just committed to the DP. Could have been a lot bigger. Oh no. Okay, the DP. Are we gonna save? Please save it. Save it. Thank God. Need to save that Akiko. We cannot, we cannot afford to lose one character as I say that. This is gonna be some big damage hit. It's not gonna kill, but it's still gonna be like 10k. Ooh. And okay, that's death. That's death. Yeah. Her, you know, the Azrael has quite literally not really done anything this set, but as soon as he really got in and really got to play, it okay. started to do some good things, but unfortunately there, committed to the love ball, but didn't home and cancel it, and going to be killing off the heart here. Azrael going to be left to their lonesome to fight this spooky Akihiko. Finally, we have two muscular men going <laughs> head to head here. Ooh, and that should be it. As long as there's not yep. a drop here. Yeah, nope. looking like we Kondo taking the set 3-1, but good stuff to Arma. Able to kind of at least quell the beast for one round. <laughs> it was good showing, good showing from both players here. And that kind of hard though. It was real good. Getting those first two rounds, getting right in Arma's head. And even though he got that one game there, it he couldn't get it, get it back there unfortunately and yeah it's gonna end in 3-1 for Bukando there yeah. and Arma is unfortunately out of the tournament we're not gonna we're not gonna Arma sweep today boys <laughs> we're not gonna Arma sweep no sad arms. day F's in the jet in chat no Arma sweep Sometimes it simply be like that, but yeah, I'm definitely not complaining. My bo my boy, we condo NA representative up here in the top three, guaranteed. No matter how he does against Zach here, I'm very proud. But like, still, definitely has a pretty good shot at defeating the one and only Zach at CC for sure. Um, especially with that heart. That heart was absolutely wild. I don't think anyone was <laughs> really prepared for how crazy she was going, but like, I don't know how much more fuel in the tank there is left because of how hard uh, Wakanda has had to push. But still, if it, if it's if there's still some stuff going, then this is going to be quite this terrifying matchup here for Zach. Yeah, it's gonna be two mountains right after another here. Go, first going up against Zack and possibly after that going up against the eyes of their the finals grandest of the finals here the but first we are gonna get that Zack match here we'll see how it goes yep, yep. but unfortunately for Mr. Wakando I'm on the side of my finished brother in here I'm gonna if I could bet channel points I would bet them on Mr. Jack here not uh, <laughs> biased at all totally not not at all like how, just like how I'm not biased for my North American brother <laughs> <laughs> totally we're um, all playing some good BP tag here but like still yeah, this heart looking incredibly low. I mean, Zach doesn't really have enough meter to like Whoa. confirm into a kill, but yeah, going to be getting a safe burst out. Respect that decision if it was baited. Oh my gosh! Oh, hey, he tri he tried to grab. Play. He tried to grab with the Hawkman 5B. Didn't quite get it with the heart. I know. Laser coming through. And we are gonna sunset to here. And are we gonna charge Shippu? Yep. Yep. And it's gonna be a nice chunky 10k. 10K. Okay, is there, a just... <laughs> is, there, is there a contest? Should be that Azrael here. 
No, nah. it's not. That that 18k health on Azrael do be doing some good things for sure. Okay, yep, it's dead. But now it's the it, it is oh, the hard oh, item here. Okay, we're not gonna punish that DP. Yeah, that that could have definitely been disastrous there. Oh, Ooh, commits to the 5C, but Jack not commit the combo. Oh my god! Come on, DP, when she's in there, please. <laughs> okay, no need for DP. We are just gonna. Slash slash swing and the heart is gonna go down. Yep. All right, calling this storm once more, but still that heart definitely not out of gas yet. Yep. Yep. She was trying, although that user that use came in and a couple of slashes and she took took it to one zero for now. We'll see how the next match will go, though. Yep. We just need that Azrael to die in like the first 10 seconds and then the heart will power up. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty much. I mean, it's it, like the Azrael definitely doing some good work, but like the heart built differently. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the little uh, high school girl is just built differently. Ooh, very good calling the CC oh, there. What? The, okay, the power sure. of them. <laughs> sure, sure. We we just hit behind with the foy. We are just that good. Yeah, protagonist privilege. Ooh, that's a ah. huge happy birthday. Very good navigation there. That's a large amount of damage. Potentially a dead Hawkman, honestly. Ooh, okay. Thankfully for Zach, gonna be falling out. Okay, we grab. Now we it's our turn to get some damage in. Although I believe, because it's a user target, it's gonna be a bit less. Although we get those, we're gonna reset that. Ah, this is gonna hurt. Not the best card in the world. Okay, double DP, base. Ooh, that should be. Oh, actually, no, he active swapped that, so it wasn't gonna even punish. Okay. Not beating out the DP this time. Oh, tried to run away from that grab, but didn't, wasn't ready for the tech afterwards. Okay, we're gonna DP, because the Hakaman has advantage there, with the DP incoming. Okay, that's death. Should be death. Yep. Yeah, as long as it's not a miss here, full charge stream boost, you'd be able to take out the heart. Uh, another close game, but nonetheless, Zach taking control towards the end there and taking the second W. I believe my Finnish brethren. We're 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 get, getting that coping in our veins now. That hoping is going strong now, boys. We're 2-0. Yep. We it's, just need uh... one more, boys. That the okay. EU will be cleansed. <laughs> Look. <laughs> we may be able to take out him, but I'm still here, buddy. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> You're right. Man. Okay. This is still. Do it for the bros. Do it for the Finnish people, I believe. My channel points are on you. you all my 1,000. You better win, my guy. I need those no Sefi bucks. No matter how this game plays out, I'm not watching some good ass BB tag, and that's what matters. That's that is very true. We have some, some really good matches here. There. And speaking of which, we are now going to the hard train in the corner. And yep, we are just gonna high low mix you into Helen Bag. Yep, and once again, every every character that has had a counter DP against Wee Kondo, he, he's just ready for it. Like absolutely. And might be able to be rewarded with a kill here. Yeah, just barely yep. gonna be getting a nice 11k. <laughs> okay. And yeah, no, 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 no. Yuzu, here you have. No, no, no. You've misunderstood, Yuzu. Yeah, this is not your game. This is Vigando's game here. We are just gonna finish you off, no problem at all. Yes, yeah. Off like freaking three interactions. Gonna be taking him out. Just a, a huge mistakes there from Zachary. And I mean, the damage difference between the two teams is definitely noticeable. Like, Hakuman gets some really good damage off the right, off right 
uh, DP uh, like kind of callouts, but I can't really say too much of the same about Yuzu, uh, at least without cross combo with this team. So like, it's going to be so noticeable when we kind of can really call out a lot of those like ballsy like DPS or counter decisions because like Zach will explode as we saw there. Yeah. Like the Yuzu is uh, in this matchup, she's like the um on the damage side of things. Although she got the mix, but the damage she is the worst one here. But still, but the Hakuman on uh, her side, maybe she can take this 3 1. Who knows? We shall see. Or maybe we are going to 3 2. Or whatever. We shall see. For now, we got that beginning covered up with the Ezreal taking almost half of his health off here. But now we're in the corner. Oh my god, everyone got hit with the prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I respect oh, the air DP. I respect it. Okay, we're gonna burst punch here. Not gonna be big damage. We're just gonna uh, set up for the next combo here. Ooh, oh my yeah. god, that actually hit. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, that hits like... Like... So high, and double elbow here. Ooh. Okay, the low. Ooh. He's still gonna go forward. And the grab is gonna be on solo Asriel. Can he do it? Sanzetsu, Ender. I love Sanzetsu. Let's see. Oh, very nice on the teleport. Oh no! That's oh, oh my god, yeah, he wasn't ready for all that to happen. Oh, use your DP. And just with the wake up super here, has the DHC available to seal out oh, the deal, man. and that's looking like it's it for Wii Kondo's ATC run here. Zach taking it 3 1, but Wii Kondo putting up a quite the valiant effort, locking in a third place position for the North American folk. Good showing, boys. Good showing. Yep. yep. Zachary definitely no slouch as an opponent, so good stuff to them for making quite the dent in them. Very close games, for sure. But yeah, looks like we'll be having a run back, though, in Grand Finals. Iseb versus Zach C. C. once more. An old matchup, to be sure. <laughs> Yet again. We have clawed our way back from the Loser's bracket, and we're gonna see the same matchup yet again. One up versus Zach here. We shall see how it goes. Will the history repeat itself, or will Zach be able to do it and win the tournament here? I mean, reset first, and then we're gonna go again. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely just three games straight of Zachary. Kind of struggling against like Eseb's team for sure. Um, as I said, they have like previous matchup history against each other, and like Eseb normally takes it over him. So Zach's definitely going to need to dig deep to make a quite a big dent in Eseb. Six entire games he needs to take, but definitely believe in him. So we'll, we'll have to see how this one plays out. DP Man versus the Yosuke Kuro Gamer. Grand Finals of this ATC coming out right now. Man, bros fighting. Unfortunately, this time I cannot bet my Sevi bucks <laughs> to this grand final. I cannot choose between two bros. Although, chat, you can. If Sevi will bring up the uh, tournament prediction here, yeah, he will. Nah, but now nah, we will see. Will Zach take it the first round and uh, first three rounds and reset the bracket, or will Isaac just win here? The nerdy Zachary starting off pretty well here in this matchup. Got like around half of Kuragani's health already taken out and immediately getting the grab as well. Okay, we're gonna use a mix in the corner. Okay, we're gonna swap sides, I believe. No, we're not gonna steal the corner here. Alright, gonna be raw tagging the Kuragani out, making sure that he doesn't die in the back. Ooh, try to match Ooh. out of the situation and not a right time to burst there. The Hakuman going to be taking out their Kuragani, but that was a nice tech on the throw afterwards. Okay, 
We tried the Yuki Kase hit there. Not gonna hit that. Uh, we're gonna bait out the DP and... Yep, that's gonna be just a dead Yasuke here. Oh, goodbye, already making much better progress in this set compared to their winners finals one taking a game good 1 to start off here indeed he had like zach had like really good like like, like that the whole game was like pretty much on lockdown liza couldn't really get the stuff done with the yosuke uh just jumping around just doing whatever he just going fast, hitting, and the uh, four piece from the Naruto. He just, he didn't get like the room to do anything there. It's just, Zach just went off there, basically. Yeah, definitely, pretty much, and that's exactly the uh, the mentality you want to have against Yosuke, Kurogana. Just don't let them play. <laughs> yeah, just don't give them any room to do anything. Yeah, and with, it... if you with that DP, just okay. how come it damage? <laughs> okay, side swaps. And we're gonna burst then to get out of that situation here. Yeah, now we are just dancing around. Okay, 2C. Yeah. Not no hitting. real, like, solid hits here and there, but the Phantom Pain able to beat the Airborne Buttons. It's going to be a nice start here for Isab. Oh, but drops the combo and gets hit by the 4P. Going to be kind of reversal in the ah. burst missing, too. That can I've barely ever seen Yosuke burst miss. That's crazy. <laughs> We're going to cash out here, boys. We're going to cash out here, boys. No, oh, we're going to get that. It went too high. We're not going to get that fully hard Shippu. And now we're going to pay and do. Although it's Yoshiki damage, all should be fine. No, it's oh. not. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. Yeah, not in the slightest. I think committed to a DP assist there, so lost the invulnerability on the DP. Okay, the user is trying to do it. Elbows. But nope. No elbows here. Only Phantom Pains. Yep. We're getting that DP Ender 2 and oh. cash out with the Divine Smasher 2. Zach trying to mash out of the situation, but was just met with the loving foot of Kurogane <laughs> in her face. I don't know. It was, that was certainly a statement. Yep. First round, oh. just <laughs> as, uh, Zach had everything, and second round, one of had everything there. Basically, yeah, almost uh, definitely a bit harder fought battle here for Eseb, nonetheless, but a dominant game for them. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you gotta imply the same mentality you do or against Zach that you do against Eseb, just don't let them play. <laughs> yeah, just go full monkey, you're playing Yosuke, well, anyways. Go, go <laughs> You can just go. Let's go forward. Gotta just go, go forward. Yeah, uh, just doubly most one. Actually, it's like doubly most one in like the PC if keyboard controls. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Yuzuriya uh, is dying. As always, Hakuman now. Yeah, gonna be another happy birthday here, but this time has the resources in order to cash out. Uh, yeah, just probably gonna be going into the Gardine to get a good amount of extra damage. Might be able. No, I don't think the user's dead quite yet. Nah, yeah, not quite. Not quite. Right. Ah, didn't hit every last row. We are not gonna get that. Full shot Shibu there, and now we're in a bit of a trouble here. No assist to save our friend Mr. Hawkman, and now we're gonna change up to that Yuzuriya, who is even more low on HP, but so is the Nara here. Yeah. Probably looking at an opportunity to get them out. Yeah, good place to burst. No threat of a Yay. kill on Kuragane, but Zach slowly bringing this back. Oh, try to go for a cross right there, but unsuccessful and gets hit by the Yosuke Moonsault, taking out the Yuzu and the JC coming in. Two bars on deck, but doesn't even need to spend it. Yuseb 
put in one more on the board and one more game away from just taking the entire tournament. Yep. 2-0 oh, it is. It's not looking good for our Finnish boy here. I'm sorry. No, no worries, no, no worries. I, I believe, I believe, I believe. I, I believe in my brethren. He can, he, he can bring it back. He can bring it back. It's only like, just mix them, just win. <laughs> it's just like, that come easy. on, it's just that easy. Just win. Okay. All right, possibly the last game here. Let's see how it go. Will one up take it, or will Zach take the round for himself? Get him closer to that reset. Oh yeah, he's just playing in the air, just trying to like really like maneuver around all of those Yuzu slashes and find that good opportunity to get in. Yeah, yeah just, just basically be as annoying as possible with the Yosuke here. Ooh. That, that DP is so long. He actually hit that. the DP assist. <laughs> Ooh, trying to reset that. Yeah. Maybe a little bit off on the air and blockable. Once again, this okay. Yosuke still very low. Gotta find an opportunity to get him out and just gonna be raw tagging out of the situation. Nice bait on the Phantom Pain too and tried to bait Ooh. something out with that dash, but nothing coming out there from you, Seb. Okay. We are just We're just feeling out, out the situation here. But now Ooh. Zach can't fit in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Although this is It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right? Okay. The rift grab. Now we're gonna get some good Hawkman damage. No, we're not. Unfortunate. We unfortunately dropped those. But okay, the usury has coming in. Ooh. Oh, baited out the first Ooh. and DP, but was ready to not put Come it. On. Yeah, Come there's on. so many missed opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> My brother in Christ. <laughs> Come on. No. Oh, no. no. Not like this. Not like yeah. Come on. He had multiple opportunities to kill off the Yosuke's, and the Yosuke is the one that's going to be creeping back in order to seal out this game, seal out this set, and seal out the tournament here. He said, taking the first Awaken the Chaos Cross Regional Class. And uh, yeah, still very close nonetheless, but certainly a couple of mistakes here and there being incredibly costly here for Zach. Man. Our Finnish boys are not drinking tonight for the victory. <laughs> But still, good showing from both players, Mr. One of Mr. Zach, and good way to hit the turn here in a three-one for Mr. One of GGs for both players here. Yeah, yes. Very well played. Very good games to all of you guys, and you know, very good tournament to be my first uh, European-based BB Tag tournament for sure. Had a lot of great matches. Good plays from everybody here and uh yeah just really excellent opportunity for me as a like a north american player not too familiar with the uh european bb tag scene to really just um like get to see like everyone play and get to show them stuff you guys great community here glad to uh you know be able to commentate and hopefully see you guys more in the future yeah, to remind you guys about the uh, the tournament placing, Iseb in first, Zach in second, uh, Wikondo in third, Arma in fourth, Shia Yoshi Guy in fifth, as well as Uko in fifth, Cinnamon Spice and Floyd taken out in seventh. Thank you guys once again for allowing me to commentate. Uh, big shout out to you know Sephiris, you know holding down the tournament, toing the bracket as well as well as being a streamer for y'all and a big shout outs to my fellow commentator uko sen for holding it down on the mic as well as shy yoshi guide when you guys weren't here uh but yeah thank you guys so much for having me and hope your your future tournaments are as good as this one on the list on and out <laughs> gg sports and now we're gonna wait a couple of last words from our Mr. Sefi here. Yeah. 
<sighs> GG's boys. GG's. Good showing from everyone. Yep. And next week, yes, will it will be our regular ATCs on the Saturdays. EU only that time, unfortunately. But still, it's still uh, gonna be some good ass BB tech next week as well. And thank you everyone again for participating. GG's boys, and see you next time.